Oh, come on. That might be a big drum. That might be a big drum. Get out. Get out. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are out here in the local bayou in, uh, in actually Alabama today. And uh, it's a very cold morning. This is like the second cold front we had of the year. And I am dropping some good old fashioned fiddler crabs, as you can see right here. So we're gonna drop this bait right here. Let's see if we can get on some convicts, sheephead, whatever you wanna call them. It's one of my favorite times of year to get on these fish. These fish absolutely throw down and then they are delicious. So I'm gonna bounce around some of these pylons right here up front. I'm not gonna go too far back in here because they're actually, um, looks like they're building a marina. So I'm not gonna go too far in there. I'm just gonna come around here and see if I can get on some sheephead. Uh, rig I'm using today, I'm gonna start off right now is just a small hook and a split shot because it's pretty shallow here with a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, using a bait caster so I can control the descent. My line's getting tangled up right now, so I'm having a little issues. Hey, what is that? That's a sheep head, I think. Oh, it's a little puppy drum. Uh. First fish of the day. There's a little puppy drum. He is hooked pretty good too. He didn't want you. He didn't feel like a sheephead, but all right, guys. First fish. First fish of the day is this beautiful little puppy drum. I'm not gonna keep him. I won't let him go, but let this thing grow to be big. But it's a little puppy drum. You can tell by the stripes and the way the head shape. Well, that good release on him. He is gone. This bridge right here. Switched up my rig a little bit. I do got a Birds of Prey knock a jig a little heavier. Gets it down deeper, a little quicker. I rod Kamana pin squall with some 20. This is 20 pound Tazline braid. Super strong braid. Love this stuff. 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. And we're going to see if we can get us a sheeper. Definitely need one to start today. I'm going to chop it right here first. I'm just going to slowly work my way each pylon so I can get on a good bite. That's the goal. It's pretty deep here. Ooh, we're getting the sun glare. Sorry about that, guys. I might switch my... There we go, fish on. Feels like a sheep. Nope, a little puppy drum. A little puppy drum. This one's bigger than the other one. I might keep him. That's definitely a better fish. Puppy drum's actually delicious. Come on. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, guys. Got a nice little drum here. This is a puppy drum. These are actually really good to eat in Alabama. They have no regulations. So I got this nice drum. I might put him on a stringer. I'm definitely going to try him out. Oh, well, not try him out. I actually had him before. Uh, black drum is actually a lot sweeter. I got my stringer right here. I'll put him on. I got two of them on this knocker jig right here and I switched my position um, on this bridge because the current's actually going I guess the way I'm pointing that way right here and the sun's on my back so 
for better like position on the bridge or even uh for filming too probably the best to go this way I'm just trying to position myself accurately the current is starting to push a little harder now I gotta make sure my camera don't get in the way either there we go get ready to put it in reverse Terry stop right here got my bumper my bumper tumper I'm gonna go back a little bit I'm gonna drop him about right here it's about 16 foot here it's pretty deep actually it's hard to get the sheep head up from here Heck, am I on the way? <laughs> I was on. On the way down. Look at that sound. Oh, come on. That might be a big drum. That might be a big drum. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on, I don't want to lose him. I feel like a sheep head. It feels like a drum. Oh my gosh, it is a drum. <sighs> Big fish. Let me get him in quick. Big fish, guys. Big fish. Got him whooped. Gotta get him whooped. Mmm, saw that coming. That was a good fish. First fish gone. Let me check my bleeder. Because he I felt them rubbing bad. Bleeder's good. I just pulled hook. I just put a lot of pressure on him. That's usually what happens though. You have to put a lot of pressure on him on this bridge. So I'm double hooking these crabs just like this. Just to cover more of the jig head. Giving it more of a hidden profile. It looks like two crabs on a rock or a barnacle. This is what I think it looks it's supposed to look like, but I'm right by this bridge doing this. I got my butt whooped on that one though. I feel like using a bait caster. Uh, bait caster is almost like using conventional when you snap a fish and you can control the descent of the fish one hand while you're holding on to the bridge, you know. You can hold on to the bridge where the current's going and you can hold, you can work your reel one handedly. No problem at all. And I think I'm on already. Yep. Oh, let's go. Another drum, I think. Yeah, that's a big drum. That's a big drum. Put it reverse, get him out. Could be a sheep though. It's starting to thump like one. Come on. Oh no, it's a sheep head. Let's go guys, first sheep head. Let's freaking go. This is what I wanted. This is, come on. Big sheep head too. Stud muffin. Let's freaking go. Oh, let's go. Yes, this gets me so pumped, guys. First sheep head of the freaking day. I love this time of the year, man. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I love going after these, these convicts, these sheep heads. It is so fun to catch around bridges. So fun. Don't, please don't. Okay, all right. I see you, buddy. I see you. I see you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Boom, baby. First sheep head. Right here. These things are super spiky, super spiny. But they're absolutely delicious. Just because the main fact that, you know, crustaceans on time. Which makes their meat a lot sweeter. Let's go, baby. <sighs> Gotta get a picture. Oh, come on, I felt pressure. Oh, am I on? Oh, dang it. That's not what I wanted. Dang pinfish, man. Ouch. How do you let liquor? Throw him away. Away from everything.
He like picked it up and dropped it. It's weird. Big fish, big fish. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay, I think he's out. Oh, he's out. Oh. Oh, he, yep, nice drum. Nice drum. Very nice puppy drum. <sighs> Not a sheephead, but a very nice puppy drum. Things are actually excellent to eat too as well. I already got one. <sighs> Caught him on a topish rod. I had something picking up, but this is a beautiful fish right here. Let me see if I can get this camera to come back on because it just turned off on me. Alright, but finally got one. Uh, this, uh, this is a beautiful black drum. Good puppy drum, puppy drum size. Perfect size to eat. This is probably about the max I get keep but I'm gonna let this one go I don't need them. I'm trying to get some sheep head because I already got one on the stringer as well too and there he goes I knew he was about to splash me little booger there you go fish up I don't know what that is it was caught though that was coming up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tree pounder. Dang, that was so weird. Well, I guess I'm gonna take this off the beach. Let me up the water. That was wild. I thought I had something good. <laughs> 